Hello everyone. In this video, I would be talking about how to import a Zacro file into ISAXIM. Uh, so we'll be going about like the introduction and then Zacro to URDF conversion and then importing on ISAXIM and conclusion. So why do we need ISAXIM? Because it's a very high fidelity software for simulation. And how do we import these more robots? that can be done through using URDF files of the robot. But the problem here is that in most of the uh, developed GitHub repositories for different robots, what we find is Zacro file and not the URDF file. So the question is, how do we actually get the Zacro uh, URDF from the Zacro file? So, uh, if you look online, there are many um, resources which point us to doing Zacro, uh, name of the Zacro file, and then the desired name. But if we go about doing this, say for if you want to convert an exam file uh, urdf.zacro to an urdf, uh, using this command, what we would get at the end is just an empty urdf file. Uh, and why this is happening? It's because it it's expecting certain parameters, which it's not getting in this um, Zacro file. Like when we converting uh, the Zacro file. So uh, in order to understand how these parameters are encapsulated and to pass the correct parameters, as mentioned before, we this particular part is where we need to pass down the parameters. And how do you know what parameters to pass? That is that can be found by the Zacro file it's encapsulated within. And to find that order of encapsulation, the best way would be to see what the launch file calls for. So if you go to exam files, a launch file, you would find what are the parameters. Uh, for example, degrees of freedom is set, set to five. And this calls another launch file over here. Uh, which again set some more parameters which are default for more, all the robots and then this goes into another launch file which again sets all of this and it calls to robot description dot launch and that's where we would be taking a particular Zacro file and passing all these parameters to find what Zacro file it's calling it goes into this thing and you, you can see that it's exam device dot urdf dot zacro and that's where uh, that's the top level zacro file within which uh, exam files urdf dot zacro is called so if you see here all of these parameters corresponding to degrees of freedom 5 will enable like will activate the exam 5 urdf dot zacro so for us, uh, if you go down and see exam device uh, urdf.zacro, uh, you would find that all of these parameters are being passed. One thing which you can see here is that it all has default values. So if you directly convert this file, you would get a, a Zacro file, uh, you would get a urdf, but it would be for a uh, degree of freedom 7 robot so if you want for a degrees of freedom 5 robot you need to pass 5 as a parameter and you can re remaining all you can just leave it as it is uh, and then you would get a new rdf for uh, degrees of freedom 5 robot what you find is that by doing understanding the structure of the zacro file and the parameters uh, if we source the like if we want to convert a particular Zacro file what we do is source the bash script and then go to the location where the Zacro file is and for our case we are doing for an exam uh, 5 degrees of freedom robot so we just pass in that particular parameter to the top level uh, Zacro file and in this way we are able to convert um, this Zacro file to an URDF and this is what is generated um, by following this uh, particular uh, command. Now once we have this URDF 
we can use it in Isaac Sim to import that robot model and then simulate it. Uh, in the next slide, I'll be showing a video of that. Now to import, uh, we go to the workflows and then URDF importer and here in the import files, we go to the respective folder and then here we click on the URDF and then we give import and then it asks questions and then here we go we have the URDF imported in nice accent and this would be how you could do for any other robot to take a Zacro file convert it into URDF and then you can plug it into the Isaac sim and start to work with that. Uh, with this, I would be concluding the video and thank you for watching.